Admiral's Log, July 1st, 1936. It's here. The British have sent a massive armada to the North Sea. Previously, we've seen an armada of 88 British warships, but they've outdone themselves with a formation of over 140 ships. How they run logistics for a force this size is impressive. We're seeing some more new British cruisers, both light cruisers and new heavy cruisers. It seems that their torpedoes are particularly advanced at this point. A lookout reported a long-range 23-inch torpedo. Our battleships are heavily protected against torpedoes, so they're not too much of a concern, but I've still ordered my captains to prevent taking torpedo hits wherever possible. What awaits us now is a field test of our 18.9-inch guns in a large-scale battle. My hypothesis is that these ships will be less effective than expected. They're supposed to deliver knockout blows to the enemy, but in smaller engagement they've proven less than optimal. The fate of these big guns rests on the coming battle. If they prove to be ineffective, then I will order a refit. The ships themselves are good, their guns less so. Perhaps later, when we've refined our big guns further, will we be able to warrant their use again. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back. It's episode 29 of the Big Guns campaign. Remember to subscribe to this channel as I'm on my way to getting 100,000 subscribers and I could use your help if you're not subscribed. Now, the British. A task force fails to escape. Ours or theirs? I'm not sure. An enemy task force blocks our path and battle is unavoidable. In the previous episode I had a battle of 3 versus 140 something. Uh, this is far more even, yet the enemy has a lot of heavy cruisers, and lights, and some DDs. I have almost exclusively battleships, some battle cruisers, and some escorts. My battleships are 108,000 tons. The issue is, these are fantastic against other battleships, because they have 18.9 inch guns. Against smaller ships, they are not necessarily ideal, because they will take a long, long time to reload. Fortunately, there's also Großer Kurfürst, which has 17.9ers, and battleships Hessen, Mecklenburg, Otto and Preussen, which are all the Otto class, all the updated Ottos from 1935. König, Prinz Regent class, a battleship with 9 16-inchers, and we have a couple of the battle cruisers, including the legendary Mars. She's been around since 1920, she's 16 years old, but still kicking. Then we have a whole bunch of heavy cruisers and destroyers, and well, we are about to see how many Brits we can sink. Here we are, my 29 ships versus this. This is 20 capital ships-ish, if you count the heavy cruisers. Another 23 lights and 5 DDs. Better get to it. Organizing these into formations is going to be uncomfortable. And once again, the game is fairly slow. What are all these random smoke puffs? Is this where the game had my ship's position or something? Unknown. Anyway, uh, these guys, the big gun ships, are definitely going to stay behind. I don't want them anywhere near a light cruiser. Although, the 5.9 inchers are potent. They fire out to 19.5 km range, which should still outrange the enemy torpedoes. The big guns reload in almost 5 minutes, 276 seconds. And even at high range, they should be able to obliterate targets with high explosives. So I'm going to keep the battleships, the biggest battleships, together. Uh, that is Braunschweig and... Oh, game, please, please, please start organizing a system where it is able for me to organize my ships into a battle formation before the battle begins. Because if I have this many ships of this many different ship classes, it is not fun to do all this sorting out. Hessen and Otto go to Division... Two. What? Okay, fine. 
So this is 108, this is 108, this is 108. Then we got Mecklenburg. She's also an auto class. Uh, the only odd one out, I think, is the Kerr first at 82,000 tons. She can do 30 knots. The big guys can do 27 knots. I'm going to keep the Kerr first with the big guys. So now we got... Yeah, we got these together. Mecklenburg joins that. This is all the autos in one massive formation. Division 2. Uh, then we got all the battle cruisers, and we have the heavy cruisers. Please, no, god damn it! Here we go. First contact with the enemy. It is the Preussen lead ship of the let's say heavy ship division, the the auto classes that have spotted the enemy. Also in sight is their battle cruiser. I believe that should be our first target. Twenty-one clicks out, and they cannot see us. Uh, all the DDs are still trying to figure out where in life they want to go, much like most people, and it's going to take a while for this formation to form up. So let's just, I don't know, have them do something useful. Sea state, really good. We got the BCs. I'm trying to have these guys operating more as a flanking force, yet it's going to take the Mars, the Koenig, the Saxon, and the Friedrich a while to actually get into position. Beowulf is engaging with a half a percent chance to hit. Because they're not actually shooting at the battlecruiser. This is your battlecruiser, no? Hello? Oh, you're the battlecruiser. Okay, there's your target right there. 37 clicks out. Shoot something big. And there's the battleship. There's the battleship with 15.4s. Guns all over the decks. Not a terribly interesting design. My ships are better. It is that simple. My ships are better. Now, the heavy cruisers and light cruisers have been tossed into one big group. I'm going to have them try and screen as much as possible. Yet, it'll not be easy. Because there are a lot of ships around. And most, if not all, of these Brits carry torpedoes. So... It's once again up to the old torpedo dodging tricks. Look at that armament of torpedo tubes. That's not fun. Now, if I can sink a battleship, that'd be great, because they project power. Uh, my battleships project potentially more power in the North Sea. And thus, I am relying on them to be the ones that block off the North Sea to the Americans, or, well, to any sort of assistance convoys that the British are going to be getting so that they'll be able to get blockaded. Holy moly, you did a lot of damage. What did you hit? You didn't actually mean to hit that though, did you? That's an unfortunate light cruiser that happened to get in the way. Sorry dude, wrong place, wrong time. First hit, 4900 damage. Could do worse. Okay. 18.9%, oh, sorry, 18.9 inch guns have about 3.5% chance to hit. Uh, the autos, the autos, the autos, what are the autos doing? Jeez, there's so many big ships here that I'm having a hard time keeping track of what's what. Yeah, you hit this, you guys also hit this, and we got the BCs. Hello? There. Alright. CA wise, I have not a whole lot of time to micromanage these, so let's quickly see what I have. We got Lutzo, which is a midships, a midships. Ariadne is the 7.9ers, the Se Adler class. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, there's a Se Adler herself. We got the Friedrich Karl, Bauguns, Bauguns in the Bavaria, Bauguns on the Arene, Bauguns in the Freya. That's about all of them. We're still exchanging quite a bit of fire, and I'm hoping that I can hit their battleship. Yep. Partials, damage to the secondary guns, damage to the casemates. It's all 16.9ers which are landing on the target. It's not the massive guns yet. These are only Mark 1s, whereas I believe these are Mark 4s? It's hard to see. I think they're Mark 3s. Let's assume safely they're Mark 3s. Uh, you're getting somewhat close. 
As are you. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not pushing in. DDs, lay a smoke screen. Start shooting this. Yes, now you're catching on. That's what I want you to do. This guy is in smoke, this battleship. Yet, that'll probably not save them. CAs, I do not want you to get too close. Some partial damage on Preussen, it's not that bad. I'm expecting a hefty repair bill, but I'm expecting a lot more British ships to be sent to the bottom. That's the objective. Eliminate the British. If it's up to me, we're going to eliminate all of them. Every single one. I mean, this has been fun, but it's gone on long enough against the British. No, we're not shooting a destroyer. There you go, 1900 damage, that's better. Are you a heavy or a light? You... That's a heavy cruiser division. Start shooting this. You actually have a chance to hit that. Whereas not so much the rest. Slow down a notch. There's only two times speed, Jesus. The V19 has taken a lot of damage. No, 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 no. Just detach. And leave. I'm really not a fan of these DDs operating this close to my ships. Von Schreik, this way, buddy. This way. You're pushing into the enemy fleet. That's a really bad idea. Because that's the biggest guns and also the poorest turning circles. Beowulf and Grosseker first over there. Okay. Uh, normal formation, tightness. Destroy torpedo here, crippled the flooding there, flooding. Yeah, we're putting out quite a decent amount of damage so far. 24k versus 2.5k taken. Stas on their battleship. Half dead. You must be the battle cruiser. Wrong place, wrong time. Guns, 17 inch. You've been upgrading, my friend. Yet, those look like short barrels to me. So you might have big guns. They might not be very accurate. What's the range? What's the range on the... You got a one and a half inch gun with a 9.6 kilometer range? The fuck? There. No. That's the four and a halfs. Jesus. 29 clicks. Okay. Oh, that ain't great. Are we detecting torpedoes yet? Well, we're destroying enemy torpedoes, but we're not detecting torps yet. Uh, you need to disengage. Always better to keep these guys alive. Everybody else? Healthy, healthy, healthy. Good. Very good. Wipe out all of this trash. Heavy cruisers. This is your target. Battleships. Secondary guns on the light cruiser there. Oh, and I want you to guys f to fire nothing but HE with the massive guns. Nothing but HE. Canterbury is torpedoing a battleship. Yeah, guess which one. She just sent whatever she had left against the Braunschweig. Which has anti torp 2. She'll survive. But these are... Oh, they're only 20 inches. They're fairly dangerous torpedoes, but they're not 23 inch like these other guys had. PCs. Burning on a flank. Getting almost no percent chance to hit. There goes two ships. Very good. Canterbury. Nice torpedo spread. It's going all over the place. Oh, boy. Not your first torpedo, huh? Ow. Doink. Yeah, this is bound to happen a bunch more. Lest we take out all of this trash fast. Where's the autos? They're all over the fucking place. At least they're doing their best to maintain a speed. Koenig. Oh, you're a new guy. You're one of the new ships. Right. 
Health check. Health fine. 51,000 damage done. 4,800 taken. Hermes. Unable to launch her torpedoes. Excellent. We're still trying to cripple the battleship. We're doing a piss poor job at it. Let's just let my ships work for a little bit. Palace, torpedo range, 20 inch, 12.6, okay. Flooding, good hit. Very nice. Damage there, damage there, damage there. Damage everywhere. Good. Health check. Good. Let's have a closer look at one of our 18.9 inches. You guys are going to swap, aren't you? Okay, Braunschweig, leave the div. Braunschweig, rejoin the div. Means that Beowulf is now leader of the division, making, making my life a little easier to manage what ship goes where. That was a great hit. That was an 11, probably. Yeah, 11.9 or torpedo in the water. DDs, panic permission granted. We're doing a really bad job hitting anything like that. Torpedo everywhere. As annoying as the torpedoes are, I'm kind of accepting them as a cost of doing business because right now there's not a whole lot I can do to manage the whole fleet against them. And if I turn on torpedo avoidance, it's going to mess up what is supposed to resemble a formation. So I'm not going to do that. BCs? You guys lined up yet? Yes, you are. Good man. We're going to blow up the Cairo with the CLs. I'm oh, sorry, with the secondaries. And I want your mains on the battleship. You guys are in a fairly decent position. You should be able to intercept the battle cruiser as well. There. I think the AI is having a bit of an aneurysm here with the whole fleet. It doesn't really know what to send where. You just torpedoed a destroyer. Destroyers generally head over there. This is 12 clicks out. Put your secondaries on the Delhi. Heavy Cruiser Phoenix with her 6.2s could be a threat to DDs, but to very little else. She doesn't have the firepower. Okay, come on, the more we sink, the better it'll be. Have you guys done anything useful? Yeah, you got one hit and the, <laughs> the majority was with the 5.9s. Okay, uh, Heimdall. You got no hits with the biggest guns. One hit for 146, why? One partial pen against 50 inches of armor? Wow. Okay. Brandschweig did get a hit for almost 1900. Very nice. Okay. Uh, heavy cruiser division. Switch to the palace. Nice broadside target. Put the main guns on the palace here. This is bad. We're going to turn everybody around. Insofar as possible. Beowulf, turn. Essen. Poison, turn. Uh, okay, fine. I'll turn this on. There's quite... Quite a torpedo hazard right now. So i got to be careful. It's too much. BCs, are you attracting any attention yet? Yeah, from Cairo. Not from much else. Perfect. Okay, we also got Marathon over there with a torpedo range of 8. So you're not that much of an issue. You're still blowing holes in the battleship. Perfect. Let's go to 2 times speed. These are 
the $69 million cruisers. Good damage there. Really nice damage with the battle cruisers. Hermes sinks due to extensive fire. Health check. G27 is dead. Disengage. Leave. Well, your rudder seems to be a little stuck. All right. Huh. I think they're still trying to repeat my DDs. Okay. No. Come around. What you got there? Still the deli. Beowulf doing our level best to turn. Um, just try and put main guns on a heavy cruiser, yeah? Just go. This guy should start taking floodings fairly soon. That was a good hit. What was that? A 16.9er. Flooding on the Cairo. Are you still at range? There goes the Delhi extensive fire. Was not the way I expected them to go. Battleship's almost dead. I don't think the battleship's the biggest threat right now, but it's the easiest to kill. Palace and Phoenix taking a lot of damage, both. Heavies and lights coming around. Poison and Hessen. Everybody turning around. Otto, Mecklenburg, Koenig. Good. With the Preussen class engaging the palace, this thing is bound to die very quickly. Good hit. You are engaging the palace, right? Yeah. The phoenix was just in the way. There you go. That's the damage that I seek. 18s have done some damage, but the 16s have done 40,000 versus 2.5k. Massive difference. This is why I'm going to stick to the 16s, because they're big enough, and they don't take half an hour to reload. Yes, no. Really? I thought this guy was going to be dead. Proserpine. Battlecruiser status, are you not too close? No, because the Cairo is disengaging. Very good. Good formation. I like this. I like this a lot. We've done 100k damage. We've taken 8.1. Still trading 12 to 1. If only my stocks would do so well. There's the Tartar, which is steadish. What was that, though? 16 inches. Flat 16 inches. So that was the Koenig. The Koenig is the only... Yeah, it's the only one with the actual 16-inch guns. These guys have a reload of 50 seconds, as opposed to Preussen, which has 84 seconds, but more accuracy. 45% chance to hit. Koenig, 12. That's a fairly sizable difference. I want you to finish off the palace over there. Yes, she needs a bit more. There you go. Well done. This guy next, Proserpine. Secondary is a Minerva. Health check. I'm surprised none of my screening ships have been hit. None of the light cruisers or the heavy cruisers have really taken any damage. That might have to do with the fact that they're still clusterfucking around. But, well, even if they're clusterfucking around, it could still be deadly. DDs. Let's stop dodging torps for now and move back into a position where we can actually shoot something. Let's go to three times speed. I mean, it's a heat wave here. I might as well add to it using my CPU. Come on. Sink this light cruiser before it reloads its torpedoes. Thank you. Secondaries on this. Quick. Russell Pine lost her funnel. 
both funnels by now. Fire control damage. This guy could get an extensive fire issue. Oh, hold on. Some exclamation marks here. And that generally means we got some explosive shit coming at me. Yep. So nice cross top you got there. That's unfortunate. So the Cairo did launch, huh? Yeah, because they got 15 kilometer range. I should not have taken my ships quite this close. Slow down a bit. Is that battleship still not dead? Albion. Okay. I'll let the battle cruisers handle this. They will take a torpedo hit, so be it. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, main guns on Phoenix, please, from all the big gun battleships. Royson's, Otto's. Shit, this thing torped me. Who did you go for? Hessen. That's not good, because the whole div's there. Come on, kill it. This has gone on long enough. How many? A few. It's a pretty wide beam. There you go. Okay. Who would like to go next? Hawa or Proserpine? Proserpine is definitely taking some fire. Phoenix is taking some fire and just torped the Preussen, which is in a turn, so hopefully it'll be fine. How many torpedoes have hit me? Five. Have you been hit? Yeah, you took a torpedo. Also did not take a torpedo. Gunstrike? Took a torpedo. The BCs have not yet taken a torp? Wow. They dodged everything? That's fucking impressive. Well done. I thought that I was going to take one, two, three hits on these battle cruisers, but they're fine. They're perfectly fine. Go for the light cruiser. I don't care about this battleship anymore. She's essentially disabled. Just not killed yet. Torpedo in the water. Torpedoes in the water. Several more torpedoes outbound from Preussen. Come on. We're just going to lose so many ships here. Health check, 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 check. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys are the silent workhorses. Look at that. Comet, 10k. Lutso, 3.8. Ariadne, 4.9. Freya, nothing. Say Adler, nothing. Hold on. You, you. These four. No, not all of them. You, 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 and you. Detach. You're now a new division. Go unfuck yourself and get going. Thank you. So that means we got Comet, Lutso, Ariadne, and Bavaria. Very good. Destroyers. Doing fairly low amounts of damage. No. Shit, the 16 took a torp. Detach the 16 and have her pull away from this conflict. Everybody else. No, not the whole div. This guy. Just this guy. It might still be combat capable, but I'm not chancing it. There goes the Hawa. How did you die? To 8.9ers? Really? Unexpected outcome. You done anything useful? Jesus, you still haven't. That 18.9er pumped out 400 damage. 174. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> Braunschweig's the only one that did some damage. Oh, that's not great. Poison got torpedoed again. 
How's the rest of you? It's this group. Yeah, they all took some damage, but they're meant to take damage. They can take it. Focus this. Knock it out. BCs, how are you guys doing? Not too bad. Can we finish off the Penelope, maybe? Between the four of us? They are reforming the division after dodging all those torpedoes. Pretty good. Phoenix is probably going to die to extensive fire. Poison got torpedoed again? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's more incoming. It's not funny. Phoenix is down. Prosser Pine next. We're still playing about 16 to 1 for damage. Come on, eliminate it. I know I'm getting fairly close to these British ships, but dodging all these torpedoes is kind of pushing me closer, even though I should be turning the other way. There. Mecklenburg Hessen. Not too bad. Come on. Sink already. Look at that. There's still so much more. They even got CLs all the way over there. When is this going to open up with its torpedo tubes? 12.6 and this. 9.8. Range. 9.4. I don't like that. Not one bit. There goes the Prosser Pine, finally. <laughs> These 18s and 17-inch guns are just sad. Sad little guns. They really don't work very well. What do you guys fire today? SAP? Yes. Semi. Should be able to make semi work against this heavy cruiser, right? Fuck. Torpedo the König Wilhelm. Hard to port. Dodge permission granted. What are you shooting? The light cruisers? No, you're not. You're gonna open up on this. You're gonna put the secondaries on the psyche. Beowulf and company. We're going to get closer. I need these guns to actually do something useful. Otherwise, I cannot really warrant their continued existence. They're just too expensive for what they're capable of doing. These guys are also forming up now. That's good. Health check. Pretty good. Some of the DDs are a bit, bit damaged. Nothing too serious. You guys all right? Yeah, they're fine. There's the torpedo. A torpedo. Good lord, this is getting tedious. Switch to HE. Psyche is down. Venus is down. That's the guys over here, right? Yes. So that's the DDs getting some revenge. Oh, you're gone. That's the first ship I've lost. Considering the massive odds against me, I think it's not bad. I'll take those odds. All right, how are you guys doing? Malaya sinks. Malaya. Okay, so now we are engaging this with the secondaries and we're engaging this with the primaries. Engage the Prometheus, push in. I know the enemy still has a bazillion torpedo launchers, which is not pleasant, yet I'm going to have to at least try and get some use out of these 18s. And they do have a pretty decent torpedo blister. So I'll be able to make something work. Kill this... Dis kiss bleh. Kill this thing. Shoot it. Why is it not dead? It's five kilometers out. 
We got what? 32 15 inch guns? Between the four of us? You're making yourselves look pretty stupid here, BCs. Do better. Flooding. Now you're catching on. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's one big dish or one big division of mine waiting to get torped. These CLs are a nuisance with torpedo launchers. It's the worst kind of nuisance because it will kill you. Given enough time. Where's the rest of your group? Okay. Wait for your friends. Oh. That was not great. That was the Say Adler taking a torpedo. Oh, this group hasn't been given permission to dodge torpedoes. That's why. Say Adler, I need you to disengage from the div and go home. Go home. Anybody else hit? No, you guys are fine. That's some great damage on the CA. Penelope should be dead. Yes, Penelope sinks. Hot cruisers. Let's go. Shoot the Cairo. Quit your torpedo dodging. We got more to kill. That's the Pomon. Pomoni? I'm not sure. 16. I thought you were disengaging. You're disengaging into the enemy fleet. That's called attacking. Don't do that. You're leading this div, yes? Oh, the Carl is. Oh. Okay. Uh, go on a screening duty for Beowulf. Beowulf is still trying to hit a light cruiser with its main guns. That's cute, but misguided. Switch to the battleship. Pomon sinks. Your friends catching up? Yeah, slowly. Damage done, 207,000. Damage taken, 19k. Still playing 10 to 1. Come on, I want to get these CLs off of my back. So I can have these battle cruisers flank around better. Wow, these are almost out of ammo. 13% chance to hit. We need about two good hits on them. They flood. Then you can just finish them off. Yeah, not bad. Your torpedo range was 15. That just about puts me in the danger zone. Let's turn back. Ow. See, you're still not listening. Now you're listening, but that's a little late. He was still on torpedo dodge duty. That's why he wasn't listening. Shoot this heavy cruiser. Uh, the secondaries on the Calcutta. Destroyed a torpedo launcher on the patrol. Yeah, you're done. Should have zigged when you zagged. Now you're dead. V18. What? The 16 is still part of... Oh! I see what's going on. This is one of those weird divisions. Or a weird instance. For some reason I have two ships called V16. It's leading to a lot of confusion. Cairo sinks. Very good. That's the battle cruisers department. Yep. Hello, Jupiter. But we're hitting the patrol. The patrol. Who's that? Go for the yeah. Just go for the Prometheus. Actually, these BCs are still doing a lot of work. Twelve k, six k, two point three k, five and a half k. Without taking that much damage. Really reliable ships. And I think Preussen's going to be taking the lead with damage done per ship. She's done almost 39k. Almost 40k, in fact. Torpedoes in the water. Start. 
turning away. Stop dodging into the enemy torpedoes. Ephigenia is getting a bit closer. Heavy damage on the Dartmouth. Jesus, are these guns actually doing anything useful? Wow. Ridiculous. I really need to upgrade those 18s to Mark 3 or 4 before they become actually effective. Right now, they're just a joke. They just don't do anything. Turn. No. No, 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 no. I'm not a fan. Also, this heavy cruiser, light cruiser division is right in the face of everybody else. Which is very brave and also a great way to get your ass killed very quickly. Beowulf. Shoot this. Shoot the heavy cruiser. See if you can pull that off, yeah? And then you can reload the next five minutes. Deal? Let's do SAP. 5% chance to hit? I'll take one hit. Oh, and it gets blocked! Oh god. That's supposedly the biggest gun in my fleet. Yeah. Holy mother of god, that's a lot of torpedoes. All came out of the comas. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun. Beowulf, don't dodge yet, my friend. You will you will be fairly poor if you take a hit like that. PCs, are you done with those little... No. Still got these little shits on the flank. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go get them. More torps. It's the 5.9ers from Beowulf that are doing almost all the damage. The rest are just a joke. <laughs> what do you mean diminishing returns? Uh oh. I wish there was a tracker that showed you how many ships have been killed. Good lord. This is not cool, guys. This is not cool. Where's the Braunschweig anyway? 10 kilometers behind. Okay. And I'm paying what? 100, 346 million for these boats. Lovely. Preussen, hey, you've been reformed. Nice. You got your div back. Excellent. Iphigenia. Still your primary target? Yep. Secondaries on Comus, please, gentlemen. Beowulf just took a torpedo. Doing 115 damage. It's 108,000 tons of battle platform, so it'll probably not really register that hit too much. Lest it hits a magazine. In which case, you're probably going to be a, a lot worse off. Queen Mary. No more Queen Mary. Some of these have been taking quite a bit of damage. Let's finish them off. The Volich and Warren. Done. Second, Warren. If I'm not mistaken, so far I've only taken some destroyers as losses. It's very easy to replace. I do wonder, how much damage has their battleship actually done? Look at that. 142. Their battle cruiser, 1.4k. That's all. Uh, no, you guys. I do feel my ships are a bit too far apart. When those new battleships come out with the uh, large volume of 8-inch guns, I'm expecting a lot of these cruisers to start dying very quickly. On the enemy's side, that is. There goes the light cruiser Thames. Let's 
to finish off this cruiser. That ought to finish off the Warren. I think they're snowballing. They're starting to take more and more and more hits because they're so bunched up and because they start to take more losses, their damage output sinks. No pun intended. And because of that, they do even less damage. Are you still... Jesus, they're still flanking. Health check. Even the Say Adler was able to disengage. German quality of construction, I'm telling you. Old. Who did that, and what are you shooting at? Heimdall. Really? Okay. Getting some damage in on Monarch. There goes the Warren. Let me guess, we still haven't hit him, have we? No, we have not. Can we pen? Please say yes, it's an 18 point... No. It's an 18.9 inch gun. Oh boy. H-E, H-E, H-E. Come on, Heimdall. Pegasus is taking a ton of hits. Patrol. Oh, there's the patrol. I was wondering where you were at. Comet. You guys have disengaged a bit too much. There's the Comus and the Iphigenia. Prometheus sinks. There, oh! Finally! That was three hits from an 18.9er. 6,000, 5,500. Those full pens almost eliminated the whole ship. That's what I want to see. This is pretty much a one shot kill. There you go. Pretty much a one shot kill from, I think, Heimdall. No, not Heimdall. Beowulf? No. Who then? Hello? Who did that damage, guys? This one. Heimdall. Heimdall just ate some more torpedoes, but doesn't really care. Battlecruisers. Finally! That's the Prometheus dead. For fuck's sake. Go for Jupiter. That thing's been annoying me for far too long. Another torpedo hit on Irene. That's not great. She's taken four torpedo hits at this point and is at grave risk of flooding. Retreat. I'm going to retreat the whole div. It's too dangerous now. Get out. Now, I wonder who had the most tonnage. And I'm thinking it might have been my ships. Because my battleships just weigh a lot. Maybe that swayed the battle in my favor. Still more torpedoes coming in. Whatever, keep going. Finish off the Iphigenia. Thank you. Let's go for the patrol. Turn a bit. Irene sinks. First heavy cruiser I lost. If that's all I can manage. The Iron Duke sinks. Light cruiser Philomel inside of a smoke screen. Dartmouth. Apollo. Okay. Go and do something useful with those big guns. Eliminate that. Is the Jupiter down yet? Work in progress. I can just let these battle cruisers do what they do best, and I love that about them. They even dodge very, very well. With a turning circle that's supposedly huge. But they don't care. They just dodge. Patrol is down. 
Come on, finish him off. And 32%. They are definitely preparing another torpedo salvo. You might want to kill it before it lays eggs. Dartmouth down. Extensive fire. Extensive fire? How'd you pull that off? Was everybody shooting him or did we see a massive amount of damage? Everybody was shooting him. That's the problem for him. Everybody was shooting him. So they started so many fires on that ship that they really did not have any way to put them out. Philomel is down. That was fast. Holy shit, you're close. Engage this. How fast do these things turn? About one and a half degrees per second. Come on, one hit. And it'll be gone. Yeah, no, that's... Not quite where I expected that shell to go. At this point, I'm just using the Beowulf as a big bludgeon to push my way into the enemy division. I know this torpedo is coming in, but we'll be fine. Oh, almost sunk the Albion. Poison group. Having fun. What are we shooting at? A DD. Wrong. Wrong. Shoot the heavy cruiser. The DD will probably automatically... There you go. Get dead. Done. Jupiter's down. Battle cruisers. Fantastic work. Come back and enjoy the rest of the party. Beowulf. You alright? There were quite a few torpedoes coming your way, but so far they haven't reached you, I think. You're still engaging the glory? Diana's down. There's the torpedo hit. Come on, this thing is three and a half kilometers out. I want to see this glory just vaporized with an 18.9 inch high explosive shell. 67, 70% chance to hit. Torpedoes in the water. Shoot! Blocked? Okay. What sort of caliber HE are we firing? Capped ballistic. And you proceeded to block it at 4 kilometer range? With what? 30 inches of armor? Hmm. Okay. Beowulf's taking a bit more damage than I might like. Whoa! That's unfortunate. It's not what I want to see. That's the Beowulf exploding. That's the Beowulf exploding. Flash fire. Uh, damn it. Yeah, flash fire. If you get an 18.9 inch flash fire, you're dead. Well, at least that's going to save me on uh, maintenance costs, shall we say? I'm probably going to refit all of these with smaller guns, because the way they are now is... No. It's not good enough. Can we finally finish off their battleship, please? Thank you. See you down. What's the marathon doing all the way out there? Got the Canada. Shit. Second areas in the alacrity. The British are going to lose this entire fleet. No survivors. None. Boom. That guy's almost done. 2% structural. Health check. <laughs> Canada's down. Battle cruisers are all perfectly fine. Working over the battle... No, the heavy cruiser that probably finished off the glory. No, it's not... It wasn't him. Not sure who it was. Go for the next one. Point 
Poison, 88,000 damage. Hessen, 43k. Otto, 14. Mecklenburg, 30k. Koenig, 30k. Workhorses. Far better than those massively overpriced gun platforms that can't hit anything. Eliminate Cardiff. Torpedo hit on Hessen. I think we're down to the last couple of ships. Are you serious? Why is that not dead? Uh, where are you guys at? Where's Handel? Her first. Bunchweig is somewhere 15 clicks behind her. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're down. What do we have left? Cardiff. And Apollo. You're still working on the Perseus. Yes, battle cruisers doing their thing. 29k, 15k, 16k, 14k. For the mere price of 113 million. Third of the cost, three times the achievement. That's what I want to see. Cardiff, stop lobbing torpedoes in my face. Seriously, this is an hour-long battle. I haven't done any building, I haven't done any designing, I haven't done much chatter outside on the strategic map. It's just been this. Just this battle. Perseus has some issues. Apollo's flooding a bit. Cardiff has some floodings. Perseus, Apollo, Marath Marathon. Where are you at? Oh, no. There's the marathon. Yeah, you're about to run into a heavy cruiser group, my friend. It's probably not where you really want to end up. Apollo sinks, extensive fire. Perseus sinks, structural damage. Are you the last man standing? Because I think everybody's going to want to take a shot at you. Yeah, you're the... <laughs> The Comet has expended all of her 11.9 inch ammunition? Whoa! They carry a lot. They carry 360 shells per turret. That's a fuck ton of ammunition that you expended. 9% of it has a hit. Wow. Lutso, same deal. Ariadne, almost no ammo. Bavaria still has shells. Good. What the? No! Yeah, we're going to take the marathon apart with small guns if we have to. Because we still got those 5.9ers and they can be deadly to a light cruiser. No. I don't need your fucking bouquet. Done. Is that the end? <gasps> Not the end. Where's the last ship? Can we smoke north? Do we have a survivor? Really? Radar on the comet is picking up something over here. Where? There. Go catch it. No survivors. Sadly, there was a survivor. Uh, it's one DD, and these guys can maneuver at 32 knots. I didn't really have anything left that could do still 32 knots, but look at the kills. We sunk a battleship, a battle cruiser, 18 heavy cruisers, 23 lights, 5 DDs. Four, actually, because one destroyer survived. I lost four ships in the form of the Beowulf. I lost the Irene. I lost the V-16 and the V-22. Another V-16 has survived. When it comes to damage dealt, I think we're going to find that they're all pretty even. Um, the workhorses, Prinsen, uh, Preussen, Hessen, Mecklenburg, uh, Heimdall. No, Heimdall is one of those overly expensive 
nonsense ships. Otto, 14k. Mars, 30k. She's still kicking. She's old. At least the hull is, but she's been fully updated. And now she is definitely still a threat. Braunschweig. She did some okay damage, but overall, no. I'm going to overhaul these ships. 15k, 16k, 17k. It's the battlecruisers and the battleships. But this... Oh, it's the Fritjof. It's the 17.9ers. But the Fritjof is also really expensive, isn't she? This is the... Oh, it's the Kurfürst. Yeah, cost just 320, 328 million. 40 million a month. No. Anyway, end of the battle. 40k victory points. That might be enough to push the British to declare peace instantly. I just really don't want them to. See? Hell no. Fight to the end. We are not done with these fuckers. They got 8,000 victory points, but we got almost 40k. And that means that they just lost a ton of ships. One more battleship, but I've had enough fighting for one episode, and maybe you did too. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon for the next one.